What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X back with another review. And today I'm taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Witcher from Wild Hunt. Well, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, this is the regular version. We did review the gold label version on the channel, so go check that one out. And this is essentially the exact same figure, albeit with a few new touches, uh, of course, a new paint job and some new accessories. But getting right into this figure, let's go ahead and get him off camera here. And there is a major problem with this figure that we're going to cover. Oh, boy. Anyway, looking at the box, he comes in. Looks pretty good. I got to say, you know, McFarlane does pretty well. Got McFarlane toys up here, 14 plus. You got nice windows in the top. Get some light down on the figure. Witcher Wild Hunt, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Looks good on the inside. On the side, you got the Witcher Wild Hunt, CD Project Red, company that made it. Geralt of Rivi on the side, McFar McFarlane toys. On the back, you got Witcher Wild Hunt. There's a look at Geralt right there with one of his accessories. 22 moving parts of articulation, CD Projekt Red. Bunch of stuff on there, but I don't care about that. Let's get to the figure. And um, the figure, um, I'm not, you know, on this channel, Nate is the McFarlane Toys Collector. That is his thing. I do dabble a little bit in McFarlane Toys and I did want to get Geralt. And um, looking at this figure, looks good. It does. Let's get the, but mm, 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 maybe a little foreboding there of why I have issues with this fig. So getting Geralt over here. It's a good, good profile shot. The face sculpt does look good. I have to admit that. Hairline looks like it's separating just a little bit there, but no, it looks good. Looks good. Armor looks just like some chain mail. Nice flexible plastic over here. He has his pendant right there. The leather and the straps look so good. Look at this, look at this chain mail going down. The sculpt and paint on this figure are fantastic. You do have his uh, hook right here, which is very, very flexible, very rubbery plastic, won't break on you. Good design on the belt. Good paint apps on this figure. I have to give it to the paint apps. I don't get a lot of McFarlane figures, and when I do, I am kind of impressed. Look at that scabbard. Scabbard's got design on it, got swatches of paint, the different colors of leather in there, more of that lovely chain mail on there. You got the pants, nice and woven, good sculpting on there. This is a solid figure. Got the spurs on the back of his boots. The boots have just a little bit of like kind of that brown leather wear on there. It looks good, it looks really good. So why am I a little unhappy? I mean, I, I got to do some work on this guy because his ankles are very weak. Amazingly, I have him standing now, but the ankles on this character are weak. And I thought, hey, it's just mine. No, it is something that Nate experienced on his version of this figure as well. But just, well, his ankles stayed in place then, but. They will, you do got to find the sweet spot with the ankles, and he is a little back heavy. He's very, well, very top heavy. Um, so you got to kind of find that sweet spot of a vanilla pose. I could probably do better with posing him, but he, is, he does have some weak ankles. And, of course, you can fix that little joint, you know, a little wax, a little get in there, a little four polish, tighten him up. But just letting you know. He, uh, I did pick this up from a local movie trading company. Uh, here in Dallas, but I think the figure looks good. Now, accessory-wise, he does come with this werewolf head. <laughs> look at that. Just look at the detail on this head. Now, this is a rubbery piece of plastic, by the way. It's very, all of this is just a soft rubber. You got the nice uh, cord going around there, you know, for easy carrying. But even the detail on his head with the tongue and the teeth, the eye is just kind of, almost bulging out on that side and kind of just swollen shut on this one. The creases in the ears, this is a very highly detailed figure. And then of course you have the bloody stump where something went clean through there. Just very nicely done. This is a gross looking accessory, just how lifelike it looks. And of course he can take that loop and just uh, put it in his hand like so. Geralt's just carrying this thing around, probably, you know, to prove that he did the deed or did the job. 
there you go looks very good now he does come with three accessories technically he does have his scabbard which is just one solid piece like i said you saw this all on the gold label which i'm kind of surprised they released the gold label first like seriously release this figure first because this is what i wanted and you do have his two swords you know the iron and silver swords and looking at this sword this looks very good very hard plastic it is not warped it is not um bent in any way looks good and very hard good quality good quality you've got just a little twisting uh serpent design on the pommel there hilt looks good yeah this they nailed it with the sword and then you have the other one and these are huge swords kind of looks like uh um, the sword from Lord of the Rings, which the name escapes me right now. But nice looking as well. No warpage on this sword either. Maybe some slight warpage. But no, nah, look, no, nah, no, nah, not really. Nope, looks good. So good. And of course, they are keyed, uh, particularly for where they go. As you can see, this one has like a groove right there. But it doesn't go all the way down into the hilt. Uh, the hilt doesn't go all the way down into the scabbard. This one, however, does... No, it doesn't. Nope, it doesn't either. So there's always they're always going to be like out a little bit, and of course they're open from this side, but I think that's accurate. And just pegs right into the big hole on his back. Looks good. Get that in there. Not a, not an entirely snug fit. If you turn it, it is. But I think that's a little a little awkward. You just try to keep it up like that. But it does look good. Now, articulation-wise, Garrett does have toe joints. As you see with McFarlane, it goes, ooh, ah, that's a break. <laughs> uh, they do not go down. They go up. The peg is in the foot, so you can actually twist it around that peg, which is in the top of the foot. He does. It is also pegged into the ankle, so you can rotate here. He does have ratchet joints on these feet, but man, that ratchet forward is just very, hey, wait a minute, actually, I was thinking, oh wow, look at that. I think I found the problem. Looks like I got a uh, crack ankle joint here. Huh, does that explain the other side? Yeah, look at that, oh, wow. I think I figured out what's wrong, unless that is by design. That is definitely a break or separation right there. I don't know if that's the leave pressure, but it's only on one side. It's only on that side. Maybe that's by design. As I look at it, they're not in the same place, which I'm kind of like, is that by design? I don't know. Check yours. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm going to have to check uh, Nate's gold label and see if it's got that same separation there. But yeah, there's a soft ratchet. This one is really loose over here, but. Yeah, that really makes me wonder now. So anyway, uh, no uh, calf articulation. The legs are double jointed. goes about that far. No twist at the thigh, but the legs are... Oh, they are full Van Damination on this guy. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, there's a joint. These are ratcheted as well, but man, that is, that's full Van Damination. Yes, I need like a, a sound effect or something for that. And they are, like I said, they are ratcheted. They'll go forward and they're also ratcheted forward and back. Goes forward that far, goes back about that far. He does have this rubber overlay piece, which is where you see all that lovely uh, design and paint. So with that overlay piece, you can get a waist swivel. You get torso articulation which goes forward about yay far but man it breaks up that sculpt but i'm okay with that you can see some of the rubber starting to pop out there i think they did well for what they had to go with it goes back about that far is there there is like a torso articulation so you can get you get some pretty good uh poses out of this guy definitely in the chest the arms the armor is connected here, so you can move up. You got to move the armor out of the way a bit, but the arms will go out about that far at the shoulder. Of course, 360 degree rotation. The armor is soft enough so it gets out of the way. Cut at the bicep. 
uh, could go 360 degrees, but the armor does hinder it. Double jointed elbows goes up about that far. The uh, hands are those uh, ball joints that have two pegs on each side, so you can rotate and get a lot of great articulation with that guy. Look at that. Peg is in the arm, and the peg is in the hand. So, yes, articulation you can do with this guy in his hands. And the head, the head is very stiff, mainly because of the hair. So there isn't a lot we can do here. It can go forward about that far, goes back about that far. There's definitely a ball joint on a hinge. So I, I would like him to look back a little bit further when I'm standing up, because he always kind of seems like he's looking down just a little bit. I guess I got it up as far as I can go. But uh, you can twist it on that ball joint and do a complete 360 on it. It's just getting it to go back with all of his uh, lovely mane of hair. So let me soften it up a little bit to get it out there. And he can hold both of his swords. Let's go ahead and put those in his hands. And there's Geralt holding both of his swords all armed up. And of course, comparing him to a couple other seven inch McFarlane toys. We had the McFarlane toys spawn, the really good one that came out, and his Doom Slayer, which I still think is a good figure, but uh, could have used a little bit more on the articulation side. You may, be not be able, you may not be able to tell from the cut I just made, but I knocked over everything. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Geralt stands about, oh, six and seven eighths inches tall. Not quite seven inches, but he is a tall boy. It, I guess he's a little bit shorter than everybody else, but I mean, the Doom Slayer is huge, so is Spawn, so this is probably within scale. So yeah, small complaints about the Geralt figure. I, I do hate the ankles on it, but otherwise I think this figure really knocked it out of the park. Um, maybe I can do something to tighten up those knee, uh, those uh, ankles. But overall, I think this is a really good figure and the rubber overlay really looks good. I, uh, and like I said, Nate reviewed that gold label. He may have had different opinions, but that's why two people are reviewing toys on this channel. So you get a difference of opinion. Anyway, but that is my review of the McFarlane Toys Geralt of Rivia. I did pick this guy up at Movie Trading Company. Um, I have yet to see him in regular stores, but I think it does look pretty good. And if you're a big fan of The Witcher, I think this is a must have. I think the figure is that good that if you are a fan of The Witcher and the game series, you definitely want this guy. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Go over and check us out at Alternate Heads Podcast on Instagram. And we have a Facebook page, uh, Alternate Heads. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.